Okay, what's up with LA? Or actually, no. Okay, crimes and gangs in Los Angeles, that's better. All right, there's plenty of crimes and gangs in Los Angeles because it's a hard city to learn money because the population is 399 million and 10 million in the greater Los Angeles. There are gangs like uh, 18th Street West Side, Boston, 204th Street Avenue, uh, Black Pea Stones, uh, Kennebago Park, Alabama, Great Street Crib, and uh, LA Mirada Locos. And there's a website where about this information. Uh, yeah, okay, top one to gang members in Los Angeles. We got this dude, uh, Arujo Fernando. He did a drive by, the like, drive by with the car, shot on the face. Uh, we got this guy, Eric Robert Kavuix. I do not know what to say about him, but there. Killed a random person, you know. Uh, Mario Limas, I think, Limas, stomped on a guy's head, uh, another person that killed him, so yeah, kind of brutal. Uh, New York City crime stories, uh, by 1970s, about uh, 4 or 15 gang members were either African American or Hispanic, and the late 1980s and early 1990s saw the growth of West Coast gangs like Crips and Bloods. First, the new influx of illegal drugs, first heroin, then the cocaine, and then the crack cocaine, and then changed street gangs from social groups to economy enterprises, instead of fighting over the geographic of turf. Gangs began to wage war over corners, used to sell drugs, the second, perhaps the most devastating change in the available of guns. It is estimated that gangs related uh, hom hom homicides increased ner nearly five times between 1980. 1987, 1994. Website where I get All right, uh, top one in gang members in New York City. We got this guy, Hatcher Leroy, sexual assault. This guy, Tom C. Larry, uh, attempt of assault like sexual contact. Uh, Morris Jonathan, sexual assault. And uh, about sexual assault, there's a lot of like sexual assault in New York City. Um, just the tips and stuff, I'm not gonna read this because it's too much information, but that's the website where I got it from. We got Chicago crimes and gangs. Chicago can be a tough place to live when there's a lot of crimes happening every day. Information, website, where I got it from. I'm not gonna read it, move on. Uh, top wanted Chicago gang member. This guy, eight years ago, Louis Macedo, that's how it's, I decided to drop out of gang life in Chicago and move to Mexico to build a quiet life as a barber and boxing coach. His lawyer said Monday the Chicago Sun Times is reporting. So this guy is like a, has a 10 million bond murder for body burning. So that's pretty wanted. Uh, St. Louis crimes and gangs. Uh, murder rate per 100k people is 59.29. Number of reported murders in 2015 is 188. Population 317. Uh, 095. So good information, and that's where I got the information from. So, uh, and the links to Yummy. Yummy is an example of what gangs do in American. Uh, Marginalists of Young. Uh, there's a yeah, and there's a bunch of murders in Chicago, LA, and New York, like Yummy when he killed a 14-year-old boy girl in the U.S. There's a lot of gangs, and Yummy is included in one. Yummy is lonely because he's a family. His family doesn't want anything to do with him. He feels the same in the real world. A little bit of more information. It's the only novel thing. And so I think I got a four plus, and I think I'm not gonna have a four drop mine. <laughs> no. Oh, no, not a four plus. Yeah, I didn't get four plus. All right, Sam. Doesn't matter. I'm